What is going on people, it's Eternal Prince here and today I'm bringing you a brand new Let's Play series. This is a beginner's Let's Play series of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, I played this game back in 2019-2020, back when it was free on Steam. And yeah, I didn't have much fun or much luck in this game because basically every minute I just kept getting killed by all sorts of stuff I can't remember whether it was a dinosaur whether it was an insect whether it was a flying insect a flying dinosaur god knows I can't remember and I just shut this game off and I never played it ever again but I've had a bit of a practice of the game now and I feel like I am ready to help those people that were in the same situation or are in the same situation as I was back in the days I guess 2019 2020 whenever you're watching this so yeah guys let's get straight into this series no messing around I don't want to make it long-winded so you'll load into the game and you'll come up with all this sort of stuff over here it might be a bit different depending on what patch update you get so obviously we're on 345 357.9 sorry so let's go over to join arc so I'll just get rid of all this sort of stuff here and then we'll go to what you might see. So, let's see a list of servers over here. Uh, so you'll see PvP servers, you'll see PvE servers. You see the number of players going in there and the, and the ping as well, and the days. So this is the number of days that have passed in game. So it's not the number of days that have passed, you know, so 42,000 days, because that'll be impossible. It's the number of days in game. So, yeah, so for this, for you guys, it should really be blank over here. So it shouldn't be orange. Orange is just because I've played in it before. So, what we need to do is we need to find a server to play it. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to go through the list. I think you can set this to days from here as well so there you go so you've got 268 days 274 days so yeah I guess the the less days the better but 268 will be good uh, so yeah I would join a server which is PvE preferably however we have just the thing so what we want to do is if you guys do want to join our server what we have here is we have our own created community server so all the links are down below in the description box uh, our discord server the server name and information on how you can join our server so what we'll do is we'll go into unofficial and then all you need to do is just search so you'll go for eternal paradise it'll take a while to come up and also it you'll have to tick show password protected so we'll give it a few seconds to load up. Sometimes it can be quite slow. So as you can see over here, guys, we're on day 166. There's already five people in the server that are currently playing actively. And it's a PvP mode, but don't worry about that. All the information is in the Discord server. In our Discord server, should I say. So what you want to do is you want to join here. And then obviously you want to input the password which is exclusive to Discord users only that are part of the server. So, let's get straight into it. Right, here we go, guys. So, we've just loaded up into the server and obviously we're going to create a new character. So, I've already had a bit of a play about on the server, but now I'm going to start a fresh character just for you guys. And let's go ahead and make him. So, I want to go for a Smeagol looking character so putting like a grey colour would be nice ok I can't I guess we can't get a little grey colour but I think he had like grey hair didn't he so we can start with that ok no they definitely not got a grey colour that's fine uh, he had a pretty small head Eye colour was just that, upper face size. He was really shrinked, wasn't he? And he was really skinny, so let's make this guy really small. Whoa. 
whoa, whoa, whoa. That looks really odd, that does. Right. So let's go to make this smaller. Small, small, small. Skinny, skinny, skinny. Just want to make it really, really quick. Whoa. Like that. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I mean, uh, a bit big still for Smeagol, but yes, let's call this guy Eternal Smogol. Eternal Smogol. Let's do this, guys. Let's get straight into the world of Ark. So, I've created the character-ish. I did want, like, a, more of a pale colour, like grey or something, but I guess we're just going to have to go with that. And... Yeah, let's make a smaller head, I guess. Eye colour. So, Eternal Smogul, you are now being created. So, the things I can suggest is, in this island over here, you'll have a similar sort of layout in the other servers as well. You have easy zones, which I'm really, really familiar with, if I'm being completely honest, which I've really explored here, as you can see. Uh, you'll have medium areas, which are like medium difficulty. You'll have... The hard difficulty so basically everything north of the map is difficult then you have your middle difficulty and then you have your easy difficulty which is like the south part uh south zones one two and three so i'm gonna make my start in south zone two and let's get straight into this one so let's create this uh, new survivor this will destroy your previous survivor are you sure you wish to proceed yes we will so here we go Normally there's a little cutscene, but this time there isn't. Whoa. Right, guys. I'm sure, or well, I'm not sure if you guys can see anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this issue that we have in Ark straight away, which is the issue of the brightness. So if we go into keyboard bindings and we look up over here, if we have a look at this, we can put set gamma one when permitted. So I've set this one as my page up button and I've set it to 2.2, which is a normal gamma rating. And then when it gets a bit dark, I've set this set gamma two when permitted to page down. So for example, look, we can do this and then just do click, hit page down on the keyboard and that'll come up over there and then Apply, and then X off. I think I've just earned a level just by being in this uh, server. So what we can do is we can just go page down, and there you go, guys. You guys should be able to see a lot better, and so will the people. Now, this works tremendously for me on Twitch because when I'm playing live, it goes night and dark quite easily. So we've got our Eternal Smogol over here, and we've also leveled up too. So, this server has got times two speeds. I'm not sure exactly what the settings are, but I can find out. All the information will be on the Discord server. Uh, everything you need will be on Discord. If you've got any questions, Discord. If you've got any answers, Discord. If you've got any suggestions, Discord. Anything will happen on Discord. Everything will happen on Discord. Right. Okay. So, we want to go. We've got absolutely nothing right now. So, a couple of pointers I can make is, before you go finding your first base, it's good to have a look around and make sure there's no enemies nearby. So there seems to be a really big tall dinosaur over there. And these guys are quite friendly, so we can just take a walk around here and walk past him and this guy should not attack us. No, my luck, he's probably going to attack me. So, the action button in this game is E. So, if you need... If you are thirsty, go buy some water and press E. And to bring up your inventory, you press I. And as you can see, we've already got a level up. And we are losing food quite fast. So eventually, we're probably going to get hungry. So we need to fix that. So we need to find a good location for building a house. Now, personally, I do like this area, but... It's quite hilly, so we're just going to keep walking around. I'll put a little sprint there as well. I think I might build it here, you know. 
Just because I'm feeling a bit lucky. So hit I. Let's have a quick look. Also, sometimes you get these things over here, which are skins. Now, I don't really like them, if I'm being completely honest. Not just yet, anyway. It's too early on in the game for me. So what you can do is you can just go to your advanced settings in your settings tab and then it's one of these over here which I, if I remember correctly it's that give default survivor item so you can just basically tick that off and it should come off I think it's because it's a new character they automatically give you that that's fine so what we need to do is we need to go and collect some stuff because we need to make some tools which we start with a pickaxe. So this is a stone pick and we need one stone, 10 th thatch and one wood. So how do you get wood and thatch? Well, what we need to do is we need to go over to this tree over here and then left click on your mouse. Just keep going. But if you do keep going, eventually you'll start taking hits. So if you look at our health, it's 88. We hit it a few more times. It's 84 now, so we've lost four health just by punching a tree, which makes sense. And we needed some other stuff, so if we go back to crafting, we can have a look, and we need some more stone. Now, luckily, we're not going to go ahead and punch a stone. I mean, if you can if you want. That doesn't actually do anything. But what you can do is you can go over here and just hit E. And it should, in theory, pick the stone up here on the floor. Maybe not this stone over here, but maybe the stone around the water. It's like loose, loose pieces of stone. So what we can do here is we can craft our pickaxe. So let's double click on that pickaxe and then it starts crafting here at the bottom. And then if you go into your inventory, you get your pickaxe ready and made. Done. So what I like to do is I like to drag this onto the bar over here. So drag it into the number one spot. And then if we back out of this, every time you hit one on your keypad, it'll come out with a pickaxe. As easy as that. So let's assume we just got our level up now. We'll go back into the inventory and we need to use our level up. So what I like to do with my characters is it's probably worth explaining exactly what each area this is, or each what or, or what this is. Sorry. So, this is health, obviously. You got your stamina, so when you're sprinting, how long it's going to take to run out. Your oxygen, so when you go for a swim, uh, you've got your food, so your hunger levels, your water levels, or thirst levels, should I say? When you need food and water, that's very crucial. You don't want to die of starvation or thirst, and then your weight. How much you can carry, your melee damage, your movement speed, how fast you move, your crafting skills, how, how fast you'll craft something. And then the main one is the fortitude and the torpidity. Now fortitude, from my understanding, is how resilient you are. So the best way to explain it is, I don't know, let's just say, let's go have a drink of water, it might trigger something. Or if we go in the water, let's have a quick look. Okay, you're cold. You should find some warmth soon. So usually something comes up at the bottom right saying you're cold. Now, fortitude. Basically, the higher levels you have in fortitude, the less chance you'll have of being cold. Or if it's too warm, or let's say it's a boiling hot day. If you've got a high level of fortitude, then that just means that you won't get as hot. Now, torpidity. Torpidity is something unique. So, in the world of Ark, every creature has a torpidity level. So whether it's that big boy over there, whether it's a fish in the water, whether it's you, Eternal Smogul, whatever your character's name is, everything has torpidity. So if we press I again, we'll have another look. Ours is 200. So 200 is at what level we would fall unconscious so each animal is different so each dinosaur is different everything is different so everything that you're going to tame 
it'll all be explained later on but you can't really affect that right now so you get unconscious at 200 torpidity as a human the big boy over there could be a thousand that just means we need to hit him a few more times just to get him unconscious basically and then to tame him is another thing so torpidity and taming are kind of linked together uh, from my understanding so what I like to do with my levels is I like to put them into weight one two three okay so we're level four we've got three levels so every time you level up you'll unlock engram points so we've got 24 right now so that would make it eight point eight engrams per level up and if we have a quick look at the inventory section again as you can see our xp is going up so that's just by living in the world so when you start on day one if i started on day one i would probably be like level 100 or something by now if i kept the game on overnight each server is different this server is like double the time i think so and also you can work out what the temperature is as well so yeah eventually we're going to get to level five i'll just wait for that before we move on to the next thing so now you're probably thinking well ep your food and your water is going down what are you doing about it well this is the next thing so right now we've only got our pickaxe so we've just got another level up we're going to hit i and we're going to go for a level in weight and then it brings up the engram points which we'll come back to so we need some food so we have some bushes over here which if you go into first person view you'll see a lot more clearly if you go ahead and press E on them, as you see on the left, you'll get a load of berries. If you keep pressing E, you'll break it down eventually, you'll get a bit of fiber and you'll get a few berries too. So if you keep going, you will find that when you go back to your inventory, you should have a load of berries. Now, how I like to do this is I like to put my berries in a certain order. So the black berries here will put you to sleep. The white berries will make you thirsty or hungry. So I like to put them in front. So these berries here, the blue ones, are good. They'll fill you up. These ones are good too. Uh, red ones are okay. I mean, they'll just... Yeah, they'll do the job. And the yellow ones, I guess, are tasty too. But, yeah. Let's just... Uh, so we need to fill up our hunger bar. So what I like to do is... Just hover over this so you can either a left click oops never mind not left click uh, you can either a right click consume that's a long-winded way if you want to really enjoy it you can just press e and if you really 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 want to enjoy it you can hold on to e and that should basically start eating through the berry list so now you see the reason why i've put the blackberry and the white berry in front so if we ate that quickly we wouldn't consume the blackberry and the white berry and obviously that'll make us sleepy or thirsty so it'll kind of be counterproductive so as you can see our food is going up and also i don't know how much it'll go up to but it will basically help us survive so yeah our food and water is going up so i might just go back over to the water one more time and just have another little sip and if you can have a look at the bottom right too our food is going up so that means we are getting a lot more food levels up or food amounts up uh you can put levels into food and water but i don't think it's appropriate right now we'll see later on in the game so we need to get a roof over our head ASAP but we need tools to do that first so at, so when I was leveling up I don't know if you guys saw that a screen came up after you leveled up which was the engram screen which is the second tab over here now this is basically like your guide to unlocking tools so if you have engram points you can unlock certain tools so we really need to be focusing on our first tools which is going to be a stone hatchet a spear and a campfire these are the first most crucial stuff that we need to make 
And as you can see, we need certain I certain items which we haven't got yet, which we'll go ahead and get. So we need to make. Let's start with this. Let's start with a stone hatchet. So we need to get some flint. Let's, let me just confirm. So we've already got thatch and wood. Yeah, we need to get one more flint. So how I like to do flint is I get a stone pick axe out by pressing one. Go to a lump of stone on the side and hitting it. So we've just added ourselves one metal and two flint. So if you keep going, you can add a few more things. So it's a bit confusing because you'll see stone here and you'll think, yeah, there's loads of stone here. It's actually mixed with a bit of metal uh, and flint and a load of other stuff as well, sometimes. So if you keep swinging, keep swinging, eventually this stone should break. But don't keep going because you can only carry so much. And we've just leveled up. Well, I'll keep going just for the purpose of illustrating this. So there we go, guys. We've just broke it down and we've picked up a load of material. Uh, it just ended up on my head as well, actually. There's a dinosaur over there. Luckily, these ones are friendly. I can't remember what their names are. Let's have a quick look. A parasaur. Yeah, so parasaurs are quite friendly. Uh, well, I won't say friendly. I'd say probably neutral. There's these ones over here, which are quite neutral. Two. They only attack you if you attack them. Those ones over there can be a right pain in the backside. I can't remember what they're called, but I don't really fancy going over there, especially at this level. And he's getting closer and closer. I don't like this. So, let's go ahead into crafting. And it looks like we can literally craft everything that we unlocked with our engrams. So let's just go ahead and craft this stone hatchet right now. So double click and then uh, just wait for this to come up in our inventory. There's our hatchet over here. And then we want to craft again. And we're going to make another spear. Or make a first spear, should I say. So let's go ahead and make the spear. And let's just wait in our inventory. So this is our crafting queue too. It's quite quick. So sometimes it might take longer in some servers. So we've got a spear now as well. So at least we can defend ourselves. Nice. Also, we've got a level up. So let's go ahead and level up our weight. Because I want to show you the next part now. So we've got some more engram points. So if we go ahead and press I, go to this tab over here. And as you can see, guys, we've got cloth pants, cloth shirts, water skin, cloth gloves, cloth boots, and cloth hat. I want to unlock all these because this is our first line of defense and it helps with our water too. So bit by bit, we'll get through that. Uh, well, actually, we'll do that in the next episode. Let's go ahead and holy shit. Let's just hope this guy is not aggressive. If he's aggressive, we might have to run. So let me see if I can kind of trigger him. Ow. Usually it tells you what level they are. It's a Brontosaurus. It's level 35. I think it might be neutral. It's kind of good because when the dinosaurs attack, it can get quite annoying. Right, guys. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed in the top of the screen, we're getting like random pop-ups saying you're hot or you're cold. So, we need to fix this issue. Hello, Parasaur. Hi. Oh, cheers. Just literally just pooped. That's one thing I didn't explain either, but your characters will defecate, your pets will defecate, everything basically defecates. This this game is uh, based on defecating. Watch. Ew. So, we need to fix this issue of being hot or cold. How do we do that? Now you're probably wondering. So we need to make ourselves a mini house. Well, first things first, we need to make a campfire and we need to make a hide sleeping bag. So, yeah, so we need hide. Hide. So let's go for the campfire and let's go for the sleeping bag first. And also it's raining. So remember that neat trick I told you guys at the start of the video? Well, you can just adjust the brightness. 
by those two buttons. So now you can probably see a bit better. So we need to make a sleeping bag. Now you're probably wondering, well, EP, how do I make a sleeping bag? Well, we need to get a load of hide, so which is 25 hide. Right, so these guys are attacking each other. Not bad. Okay, now he see me. That's not good. Right, yep, we need to run away. Oh, I am tempted to fight this guy, but I'll show you what to do if you do get attacked by small creatures like that. So we can get this dinosaur to like... Well, basically kite it near this one. So basically they fight each other. Because usually the dinosaurs don't really go for you. They'll attack something else if it gets in the way. Now I'm hoping that dinosaur attacks him. Which it looks like. It either is or it's dead. One or the other. So we need to get some hide. Now... How do we get hide? Well, these guys are your best friends over here. So, remember those animals that are neutral that I was telling you will attack you if you go near them? Well, this is one of them. And although they've got a really slow walk, they actually do run away quite fast from you. So, what we want to do is we want to get our spear out and we want to kill this guy as soon as possible. So, we want to keep hitting him. Be careful, your spear might break. Like now, your spear just, my spear just broke. So, not all else has failed. What we can do is we can press three, or not. We haven't got the materials to craft another one. Perfect. So what we do is we need to get some more wood as soon as possible. So let's go get some more wood. Let's get our, press number two and get our axe out. Start chopping. That should be more than enough. And then if we hit three again, or not. Where's uh, our spear? Okay, yep, yeah, so it's just, if you press three, if your item breaks and you press three, for example, with a spear, it will make another one in the background. So we'll go back and go deal with this guy again. And we'll just basically keep hitting him till he dies. So we killed a Listosaurus. So what we want to do is we want to get our hatchet out. And basically... Use the hatchet to get... Uh hide and raw meat off this guy this dinosaur or this creature or whatever uh, so you can use a pickaxe a pickaxe generally gives you more meat a uh, hatchet would give you more uh, hide but for my experience it's generally equal and similar to this if you hit a tree if you hit it with a, a pickaxe you get more thatch if you hit it with the axe you get more wood um, and then with a the stone, you get uh, more flint if you use a pickaxe, and you get more stone if you use a hatchet. So yeah, I mean that should pretty much basically explain it. So it depends, it's tailored to what you need. If you need something, if you need uh, something a bit more, then you'll go for that. Uh, so for example, if I need more wood, I'll use the axe on the tree. If I need more stone, I'll use the axe on the, tr on the stone. Bigger stones, should I say. So, these guys can get quite annoying too. So I don't really want to attack this guy yet. He's a level 70, so he'll probably kill me. Uh, but what I will do is, I'll try and see if I can find anything easy to kill over here. I didn't want to go for that thing over there, but here we go. So these guys are awesome for hide. Hello, little birdie. You look so cute. Well, this is a dodo. It's level 25, and they don't attack back, so we need... Some. Well, my spear broke. But not to uh, worry. Let's press three again. There we have it, guys. We killed a dodo. So, yep, same again. Let's get the hatchet out. And there we have it. Got all the hide and the raw meat that we needed. And now we can go ahead and put some points into weight. Let's start heading back. Let's avoid that little dinosaur over there because they will start attacking you. 
And why is it always the little ones? It's the same in like real life. Like, you know, in do you know, like dogs in real life. The bigger dogs are like generally quite friendly and it's the little shitty small ones that start running after you and jumping up around you and start nibbling you and stuff. Like, oh God, absolutely hate those dogs. The little ones. And it's the same in this game. It's like the little dinosaurs are just like annoying. So what I'm hoping is that this dinosaur doesn't trample us. I think he nearly did. So what, what I want to do is I want to make a sleeping bag as soon as possible. I'll explain why. And also a campfire. So we've got our sleeping bag. So I want to place this sleeping bag just here. And we've got our campfire too, which I made. I can place this here. And there you have it, guys. That's the uh, basics on how to get started in ARK. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, I want to be running a new series. I'm going to start taming uh, dodos in my next series. Or in every episode coming up now. So, one lucky person in the comment section will get named after a dodo. So I'll be picking all the people that comment after this video is released and then adding a spin the wheel with all your names on it and we'll see what you get for the next dodo. So it could be anyone, it could be anyone from the community, it could be anyone from YouTube. So yeah guys, just uh, comment what name you'd like as long as it's safe for work we'll use that name or if not we can use your youtube name preferably i'd like it with a comment if it's something funny so yeah guys um hopefully i'll see you on episode two god i don't like this shaking like a mini earthquake isn't it oh cheers all right i think he's just saying goodbye as well so yeah guys hopefully see you on episode two peace